floor of Fortnum and Mason and Selfridges in London. They've hurled white paint at the gates of the Houses of Parliament. Now they've targeted a high-end steakhouse in London. And the waitresses did what many have wanted to do with these protesters. Thank you for the market. I, I don't like vegans very much. I don't think any of you are oh, no. very healthy. Oh, I'm not surprised by that. Please. Yeah, I think you all look pretty pasty-faced and unhealthy to me. Um, <laughs> you guys do what's going to mean. The more, I, the more meat I want to eat. That's absolutely fine. No, it's true. That's you fine. That's you fine. literally... <laughs> it, it's a bit... Do you eat almonds? No. Do you eat avocado? No. Ruin everyone's night. I would have done what those waitresses did, just thrown you out. That's absolutely fine, So Piers. what's the point of it all? What does it achieve? None of you make me want to change my mind. I just think, what annoying little squits. Honestly, I do. I will have a bit of steak, just to... You didn't salt it, though. You see, all you've achieved <laughs> is you've made me want to do this. Just that's eat that's lovely... absolutely fine. Mm. You go mm. for it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> エリトです。今回の動画では頑張って翻訳しましたので一緒に見ていきましょう。では、どうぞ。But uh, first, vegan activists are not giving up their quest to make us all eat bland, plant-based gruel. They've tipped milk all over the floor of Fortnum and Mason and Selfridges in London. They've hurled white paint at the gates of the Houses of Parliament. Now they've targeted a high-end steakhouse in London. And the waitresses did what many have wanted to do with these protesters for a while. Take a look. Well, joining me uh, now is Animal Rebellion spokesman Nathan McGovern and celebrity chef Aldo Zilli. Uh, good to see you both. Uh, Nathan, start with you. Um, I, I don't like vegans very much. I don't think any of you are oh, no. very healthy. Oh, I'm not surprised by that. Please. Yeah, uh, I think you all look pretty pasty-faced and unhealthy <laughs> to me. Um, but that's your choice. What I don't do is I don't go running into vegan restaurants and start screaming abuse at you all and have to be pulled out by people because you're ruining everyone's fun. Why do you do that to meat eaters? Well, Piers, you've started on an absolute blind today. I actually brought a little game with me for the, me, Aldo, perhaps, the audience to play. It's a Piers Morgan a vegan bingo. Maybe we get a zoom on that from the camera. And you've actually just ticked off one straight away. I'll just go with that. We're looking at row or a column already. Mm. So the thing is, Within years, technology like precision fermentation, you know, alt protein is going to produce the exact same products that you love right now, using a fraction of the land, producing a fraction of the. Yeah, but I like print. eating meat. It's the exact same product. No, but I like eating meat. Fine. You know, you'd be eating the exact same product. In fact, the more you guys do this kind of thing, the more I, the more meat I want to eat. That's absolutely fine. No, it's true. You That's do. fine. That's you fine. Literally, <laughs> it, it's a bit. Honestly, it's true. The more stuff you do like this... Sorry, I didn't, just... I didn't catch that. You, it's true, is it? You've said that about three times. I didn't, I didn't what's, what's catch true? it. That you, that you like eating meat. Yes. You know? Oh, oh, thanks. I didn't get it the first yeah. three times. Uh, um, how committed a vegan are you? <laughs> how committed a vegan am I? Would you eat, do you drink almond milk? Oh, you've ticked off another one. Fantastic, you want, Piers. You are have, on an absolute Does it have role. answering questions? Though? I don't know. I'll, I'll keep that one hidden from you. Know, just, it, take, take the fun out of you just answer game. questions? Otherwise, yeah. it's not much of an interview. I mean, you can have your little <laughs> chart, but do you drink almond milk? No. Do you eat almonds? No. Do you eat avocado? <laughs> no. What do you eat? What do you drink? I love seasonal British fruit and veg. Right. You know, I love supporting British farmers. I love going to a farmer's mm. market, seeing what they have to offer. You know, I love eating a plant-based diet. But most diet. science now says that if you don't have a balanced diet, it's actually unhealthy for you. Yeah, exactly. That's why a, pl a plant-based diet, a balanced plant-based diet is healthy. Aldo. I mean, what do you feel? I mean, your restaurant is very close to where this happened, right? What do you feel about these activists running in, ruining people's meals? Listen, um, 25 years ago, I opened one of the first vegetarian restaurants in London, it's Soho. And um, if it was now, it's probably more successful then, it didn't get very successful. But anyway, come, cut long story short. I don't have any problems 
I've written a, a vegetarian book, not a vegan book. I don't have any problems with um, vegan and veganism and vegetarian people no. because I have restaurants. I'm a consultant for a number of restaurants, number of restaurant companies, and uh, we have vegan and vegetarians on menus. Mm. So I don't understand when it gets out of hand that these people have to well, they disrupt have no our business. Because well, they have no respect for meat eaters, uh, but if we were doing the same thing to them, they'd all go nuts, right, wouldn't you? You'd all go nuts. If I came running into your little vegan hell holes and began screaming abuse, <laughs> you'd all throw your toys out the pram, as you do on a daily basis. I'm not throwing my toys out the pram right now, Piers. Uh, I'm, you... I'm loving this, to be honest. What, do you, love, what are you loving? I'm loving it, this open conversation that we're having about this actual quite But why do you issue. have to go and, and do a, a restaurant and uh, disrupt our business, disrupt the customers, other people that want to eat the meat, other people that want to enjoy themselves, they want to go and have a night out. Uh, I don't have any problems with you guys coming to our restaurants and ordering a vegan dish. In fact, in January, we always do a, a veganuary and we go through a lot of different um, ingredients to create menus for you guys. I don't understand why we have to suffer uh, your uh, uh, mentality of coming to our restaurants and trying to disrupt the customers that are having a fantastic time the, and they want to the, eat the steak. What's the answer? No, it's actually a good question, Aldo. And actually, it's fantastic that you create fantastic vegan dishes. The fact of the matter is, when we look at high-end restaurants, you know, salt-based restaurant, Manor up in Manchester that was also disrupted the weekend, these are symbols of a broken system, you know. Why, because he makes nice symbols food? Symbols of a broken system where, you know, there's 1,500 quid getting why charged make, for a steak. Why is he making millions Can I please around the world? I was, I was in one of his restaurants. Fine. Well, Loved I, it. I would invite any vegans... But if you'd run in and tried to interrupt and just ruin everyone's night, I would have done what those waitresses did, just thrown you out. That's absolutely fine. So because... what's the point of it all? What does it achieve? None of you make me want to change my mind. I just think, what annoying little squits. Honestly, I do. It's the same when you're chucking paint at Van Gogh paintings. It's the same when you're tying yourself to fuel pumps or hanging yourself on bridges and stopping people using dart for tunnel. It's all the same. You're just all too annoying. So the British public don't like annoying people and they don't like their lives being disrupted. They want their freedom to have a choice, the choice as I had in Qatar last week to have Salt Bay, whose restaurant you had well, you invaded, you... to do this to my mouth. <laughs> can Look, you imagine someone that's, coming that's in? Fine, Peter. This is it. No, but can you imagine you coming to our restaurants and and then you get some people coming to your table and trying to disrupt your evening? It's a it's a. I'm going to start. I am going to start running into vegan restaurants. That's fine. Am. Go They're for just it. Shouting that's your, that's and your right, being annoying right and grabbing is. tables and so you can't eat your gruel. And just see how you lot like it. Honestly, I'm going to go Piers. to your house and chop paint Piers. all over it. Piers, you've got a right to price. Oof, you've got me another one. Fantastic. Take it off your bingo. Cast it. Take it off your bingo, son. <laughs> but where's the salt? Where's, where's it? Won't need any of this gruel. Let's put that to one side, but I will have a bit of steak just to... You didn't salt it, though. You see, all you've achieved <laughs> is you've made me want to do this. Just that's, eat that's a lovely... That's absolutely fine. Mm. You go mm. for it. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Do, you know many, do you know how many steaks he's had from my restaurant? <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. But here's my point. I love eating steak. I'm not going to stop eating steak. Yeah. And the, the very last thing on earth that will stop me eating steak is people like you with your pasty faces running into our restaurants telling us to stop eating steak. That's, That's the very last thing that I'm going to do. That is absolutely Because you, you don't fine represent to me is. vitality or good health. You just all look like you want a good bit of steak. That's absolutely you fine. You're fully entitled to that opinion. And as I've just said earlier, you're right to protest if you want to run into Your a vegan restaurant. Your mates are also the Extinction Absolutely Rebellion, fine. right? My mates. You're all, like, interwoven, like you said before we came on air. Like a, like a wool and blanket Well, are you together. connected or not? No. So we're a sister movement. A sister movement? What's that? Extinction Rebellion. Sounds a bit sexy. No, we... We have, you know, common goals, you know, What are your common as, goals? Irritating people. <laughs> such, as, such as tackling the climate and ecological emergencies, mm. which, you know... I'm sure all of us... What did you think of Meghan and Harry using a private plane? Oof, there we go, Meghan Markle. That's another one. What That's the four two? for nine. Ah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to give you that, What mate. did you think of them using a private plane to, to go to this uh, award show? You must be furious, it's right? It's incredible how you manage Are you furious? to turn this into, oh, let's dump on Meghan hey, and hey, Harry. Hey, your your agenda, Piers. Oh, you just talked about the environment. Would you go in their plane? I just wonder whether... Would you go in their plane? I just wonder whether you... Do you feel, I go on do you feel no, angry no. they used a private plane or not? No, I think what, what we should have 
is affordable travel for right. everyone. But they, they use a, a private what plane. What we should have is travel systems. Do you criticise them for using a private plane, plane or not? You know, or because they're the woke king and queen, you're not allowed to. They're using a plane. Is it because you much, can't? I would have much preferred. You know why you can't? Don't you know, Nathan? Because this is again Peters, this is hypocrisy. To you your can't face, because you, Nathan I am McGovern, you. you don't want to read a headline tomorrow saying Nathan McGovern from Animal Rebellion slams Meghan and Harry for using private plane. You don't want to say it because, like them, you're a flaming hypocrite. You'd oh, rather go in. There we go. You've got me a column. You'd rather. Brilliant. You'd rather go. Fantastic. You'd figures. rather go into restaurants like Aldo's or Salt Bay's or whatever and just make a nuisance of yourselves because it's easier. But what easier. you should be doing, if you're intellectually honest, is saying Meghan and Harry stop using private planes, but you won't yeah. because they're your little say it right now if you let me. I will say it right now Aldo, if you will let me. Final words to you about. A balanced diet. Most science I've read lately says that actually having no meat in your diet at all is not necessarily a beneficial or thing fish, at all. For that matter. Right, or fish. Yeah. I mean we have to have a balanced diet and we it's important for our well being, for getting healthy. If you work out in the gym like I do, I need to have maybe some uh, good protein. Yeah. What, about, what about that vegan Greg sausage roll? It was disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Complete racket. Exactly. Yeah. More calories in a Greg's vegan sausage roll than there are in a McDonald's cheeseburger. What I don't I'd rather understand. What's irrelevant? If you want to win an argument, you just can't be annoying all the time. You can't just ruin everyone's fun and their lives, walking around like you had the only way forward for the life in the universe, the Nathan McGovern rule book. It's not me. Thou shalt do this, it's this, and this. Oxford Unless University. you're Meghan and Harry, it's then you can Harvard do what you like. University. It's the IPCC peers. This isn't me. I'm not a scientist. Right. I'm perfectly Thank happy you. to admit that. I think that. we'll leave it People on the fact that you're, so you're not an expert. University of Harvard. You're not an ICC. expert. Neither are you, and you should listen to you're them. You're not an expert. I think we'll leave it at that. Nathan. Don't Thank come you. to don't, Good to see you. Don't Sorry come. we didn't get them all ticked up. Oh, you got me. You got me. A only a matter of, you got me a only, it's fine. Don't come and annoy my customers. Shout out to you and insects. Oh, yeah, insects, yeah. Um, good to see you both. Thank you. Alden, great to see you. Great, great to see, to see you. you, Nathan. いや皆さんどうごどうでしたか中二病満開の活動家ピエールズをおちょくるためか知りませんがビンゴまで準備してましたねその後ステーキを目の前で食べられて悔しそうでしたがそれさえも未来予知でビンゴに入ってましたね確かにお砂よお砂よ理論でこういう活動家にまるまるするなって言われるたびに彼らの分まで肉を食べたくなるのはわかりますよね実際こういうカルト的な活動グループって医者や弁護士などのエリート層も結構参加していることがあるみたいなんですがなんで彼らにそんな簡単な心理的要素が理解できないんですかね動物愛護自体の考え方は素晴らしいものでいいと思うんですがこうやって僕たち一般人に強いるやり方だとかえって逆効果のことをいつ気づくんでしょうか給料日やっとの思いで高級焼肉店牛角を食べに行けたと思ったらこんなバカげた活動家たちに邪魔されるって思うと。牛さんたちにも申し訳ないですよねピエールズは毎回のことは相手の話を遮ってまで話を進めていましたけど今回の相手の彼もビンゴを用いていちいちイライラさせてたんでどっちもどっちかなって思いましたねでは現地の声いくつか紹介していきますね This guy is a textbook definition of why people don't like vegans He tried to pass off like he didn't care but he was seething Absolute gold He came into this interview trying to be upset, trying to pick a fight, trying to avoid answering anything, and instead just be as annoying as possible. Good job, May. You've really shown the world how good vegans are. How do people like him go through life day by day without getting their face smashed in? This kid was raised to believe that the most important thing in his life was his own opinion. This vegan was the one who actually ticked all the boxes of what I expected a vegan to say. 今回の頼むぜポイントは87点ですね。いや、頼むぜイギリス。皆さんの点数、考えもコメント欄でよかったら教えてくださいね。冒頭にも言いましたけど、このチャンネルの収益がバーンされて、チャンネル自体の存在も危ういものとなってしまいました。なので、サブチャンネルのチェック、概要欄からよろしくお願いします。このチャンネル、頼むぜアメリカでは、こういったマジかよっていう欧米ニュースを楽しく取り扱ってます。チャンネル登録していただけるととっても喜びますんで、よろしくお願いします。では、良い一日を。